Hello everyone, my name is Reyes and welcome to the Thoughtful Free Space, putting your mind to things you may not normally think about. Today I'm bringing you a brand new series known as the Thoughtful 10, increasing your knowledge with 10 facts within 5 minutes. Now today we're talking turkey, those lovable creatures we love to eat, especially tomorrow with Thanksgiving. At least if you are American as the Canadians celebrate theirs on October 9th. Now to start off we have to begin with the females, the first fact being that they don't need males. Not all the time anyways. Around 20% of turkeys can have a virgin birth. This ability is known as parthenogenesis, which means they can self-fertilize their own eggs. The chances of these eggs surviving are of course lower than normal. Moving on, turkeys are part of a group called galliforms, where there is sexual dimorphism between males and females, where males are larger and more colorful. This not only includes turkeys, but chickens, pheasants, partridges, and quails. An extra fun fact for you folks is while they're in the same group, more than 45 million years of evolution separate chickens and turkeys. Number 3 has to do with anatomy specifically the flesh on turkeys called a snood. This feature is actually used for social relationships within groups of turkeys. A study in the Journal of Avian Biology found females prefer longer snoods and that it is an indicator of not only health, but who might win in a fight between males. Speaking of males, they have something called caruncles. Now while both sexes have this, they are more pronounced in males and they change color depending on mood. This usually occurs when they are excited or sexually stimulated, and you can see them turning either red or blue when this happens. Now domesticated turkeys are technically mutants having larger breast meat compared to a wild one. But what you may not know is that they have melanin. This is a protein that colors a turkey's feathers, similar to how in humans it causes changes in skin color. When these feathers are plucked, melanin is released and actually makes the meat darker, so domesticated turkeys are those without melanin, otherwise known as white turkeys. Halfway through and we're almost at the meat of the facts. Number 6 talks about gizzards. You may have heard of turkey gizzards, but they aren't the only ones that have them. Other birds, fish, and even reptiles can have this organ. This organ helps to digest food, and in order to do this, things like pebbles and grit are swallowed in order to grind it up. Now turkeys have some interesting powers they don't quite show. Not only are they excellent navigators, but they are pretty fast. Not only can they run at 25 miles per hour, but they can also fly at 55 miles per hour, if only for a short time. If you don't buy your turkey, you might have a hard time catching one to eat. Speaking of eating turkeys, did you know that they contain more protein per ounce than any other meat? At an average of 26 to 28 grams. Not only that, but they have two types of meat, white and dark. Now the dark meat of turkeys actually tends to contain more vitamins and minerals compared to white meat, but it is also more fatty, contains more calories, and has less protein compared to white meat. In some cases this difference is negligible, so go ahead and dig right in. With number 9, we're myth busting some turkey knowledge. Turkeys are known to contain an amino acid called tryptophan, and it's commonly attributed to drowsiness during Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, the amount of tryptophan found in turkeys is similar to the amounts found in other meats. So if you're falling asleep, it is more likely due to the high number of carbs from other kinds of food you're eating. Finally, number 10, that amino acid I just talked about is actually a precursor to two different neurotransmitters, serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is commonly known to improve mood, but it is also involved with gut movement and organ development, while melatonin helps with the immune system and regulation of day and night cycles, also known as your circadian rhythm. So eat some turkey every now and again. And that was the Thoughtful 10. Maybe when you're eating that turkey, you can share some of that knowledge. And if you don't eat turkey, hopefully you enjoy your tofurkey. As for this episode though, hopefully you all enjoyed it and learned something new, or at least think about it in a different way. If you liked it, show your love with a thumb and subscribe for more. Thank you very much, and stay awesome.